Hey guys, Kaleido here, and today I'm going to be introducing you all to a new series called Smitten. So this is a Sims 4 Let's Play, and I have been planning this for probably a week. It's something that I have been wanting to do for a very long time. I'm super excited to get really creative with you guys. It's sort of like a huge project, really. I used to do this a lot when I played The Sims 2, even The Sims 1, really. And um, basically what we're going to be doing, I've deleted all of the lots except for a couple on um, Willow Creek. I probably, after we finish rebuilding um, Willow Creek, we might go and rebuild Oasis Springs and all of the other places. But the gist of this whole series will be, we'll be filling the world with all of my unique characters but also some characters from you guys so of course um, I'm going to be using CC in this series but I can't get your CC so what I'm going to do um, I'm going to get you guys to send me characters like their base character and I might just like change them up a little bit and make them look even more spunky but anyways enough of this chit chat this is my character Jean Cantaloupe. She is going to be our starting character. We will be changing households around a little bit in this series so we won't be playing one static character the whole way through. Um, that way I won't be getting bored and hopefully you guys won't be getting bored. I may also end up playing some of your sims that you guys send me. Um, but yeah, Jean, she is clumsy, cheerful, and she's also creative. She has the soulmate aspiration and she is alluring because of that. Um, so basically her story, we will read her story once we go to place her down into the house, but all of you probably already know what house I'm going to be putting her in. It's going to be the Rainbow Up inspired home. And let's have a quick look at her um, at her clothing before we go in. So she does have a couple costumes, or oh, well, every day. And I love this one. I have been going a bit crazy with the CC guys. I will be putting down below the links of mainly all of the Tumblr and um, websites that I find my CC. So I can't link all of it, but you guys can kind of find it for yourselves and you might find something that you like that's even better than mine. So here is the original one and I've showed you guys these ones and in um, we have this very simple formal one. I actually love her. I love her athletic one. It's so cute and um, her sleepwear, very comfy, and her party wear, oops, oops, whoopsie. And finally, her swimwear, which I love this bathing suit, so cute. These swimmers are so cute. Of course, Jean has um, green eyes, this awesome hair, and it's like this bright, luminescent Orange, I don't know. It's really cool. And of course her name is inspired by Jean from X-Men and Jean was a redhead chick who was like crazy powerful um, This Jean is a little bit different to that Jean she, this girl's a bit more happy-go-lucky. We will get to her story. Um, so yeah, let's go put her in. What photo would I like to choose? Oh no, I really liked that other one. Why did I press it? That always happens to me. Let's see if we can get it again. Um, I am really happy with her character. I want to know what you guys think. Um, all of the characters in my world are going to be really colorful, vibrant. They're all going to have crazy hair colors. It's going to be fun, guys. It's going to be fun. Okay, I like this one. And also, Cantaloupe, or Cantaloupe, is a... I think it's like a rock melon. We don't call them Cantaloupe here. I'm not sure if it's like a special kind, but... Um, basically, we're going to be moving her into this place. Um, we can't read her story. We can't read her story yet, but we're going to have to do free real estate on... And we will get to this house and hopefully we can go back and read her story because I really want to show you guys that 
Alrighty guys, so Jean has moved into her home and I'm just going to read you guys her story before we have a look at her house. And I'm also going to introduce you all to the other characters that I have already put into the game. There's only a few, um, but yeah. So Jean has always been a happy-go-lucky girl, adored by all in her past town. Lucky enough, Jean inherited her grandma Ellie's humble home in the town over, an opportunity Jean could not resist. A new home, a new start. Her goal is to share her happiness with all and to find her own real happiness. So that is what we're going to be doing with Jean. I love her last name, Cantaloupe. We're going to have a very um, whimsical, fun theme for names in this series. So... Do look forward to having like adorable named sims. So let's have a look at some of these other sims. But I do want to mention that I have deleted everything except for the goth family. And there also is the Calantes and the land grabs. Just because they are like original ones that I really like original sim families that I still adore. Okay, let's start off with the Rosebud Twins. They just happen to live right across the road from Jean. So Sally and Delilah are identical twins who both love everything pink. Together they've made a home they both adore and are now planning to start an eclectic fashion line. They've stuck together this far, but is their strong bond enough to tackle this new ambition? So these two are super cute. I had so much fun making their house and making them. Um, I have recorded both of these houses being made, so let me know if you guys would like to see the speed builds for them. I don't have to upload all of them because, like, you know, I'm going to be building a lot of houses. I might download some from the gallery, but let's have a look at the homeboys. These two seemingly different young men found each other by chance whilst looking for housemates. Their differences aside, Bellamy and Aaron are two peas in a pod. Well, a lodge to be exact. <laughs> um, it's as if they were long lost brothers. These two are so adorable and I really would like Jean to get to know them and maybe... Maybe she might find her happiness with a boy, you never know. And I really want to create a, um, like a fashion store, like a clothing retail store down here somewhere for the Rosebud Twins. And I really like their name because it's just so cute. I can't remember what their last name is. What is your last name? Can't remember what their last name is. It's probably something adorable still. But yeah, let's go in and see what Jean is up to. So excited for this series, guys. I hope you enjoy this and you like this idea of me just making a huge new town from scratch, basically. Um, oh man, I have a lot of money right now, but um, I don't know the cheat off the top of my head, but I will put that down to only like two grand. So that way we don't have too much money. She's only, she's been renovating, so she doesn't actually have that much money left. We might even only give her 1,000. So ignore how much money she has right now. That's just because we used, um, we used the free real estate. So she is currently still moving in. She's just done a lot of renovating. This was her grandma Ellie's old place, so it was all very grandma and sweet styled, but she wanted it to be spunky and new like she is, uh, but still with that touch of antique and antiquity and, I don't know, just country style. So here is the lounge room. I think you guys have probably already seen this house because I did do a speed build on this. Um... Here is her bedroom, which still needs a lot of unpacking. She doesn't really have much unpacked besides the furniture. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of boxes. These two rooms I'm going to leave vacant. Um, she's not going to unpack all of her things. Maybe some of her sentimental childhood things are kept in these spare rooms. But maybe if she ends up having a family or someone moves in, they can move into those two rooms and renovate. We can renovate them then. Um, let's go and see what's happening. Right now, I do have age off. 
Um, but oh, look, look over there. It's such a cute home. I love that place. I hope we get to meet them. Maybe they'll come over and say hello. Oh man, let's have a look at, um, she doesn't have a career. Um, something I am deliberating on. So I am in love with this sunroom and, um, we do, if we look in here, we have so much stuff to unpack guys. Like look at all this clutter. And then we can, when we finally put all of this stuff away, I'll do this off camera. Um, we can put away all of these silly boxes that are lying around, but yeah. Um, okay, let's just go back into the normal game mode. I'm thinking of making her into a, like have a florist store. So maybe she sells plants, pot plants and all of the tools and stuff you have to have for gardening. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that idea for her career. So basically she'll have her store and she'll be selling items. I think that's a cute idea. She'll build up a little bit of a, um, a bit of a, um, store. So it'll be a business and I'm excited. Ah, Jean, you're so cute playing, playing some chess. So what else can we find in here that I should read to you guys? She doesn't have anything in her inventory. We've already gone over the traits. Right now we do have um, aging off. I'm going to move in a couple more families before we um, have aging on. Because I really want to see what you guys can create. So um, I actually haven't thought of what hashtag to use. Let's just do hashtag Kaleido... Um, Kaleido Smitten. So, or maybe K Smitten. We'll do K Smitten. So hashtag K Smitten if you would... Oh, look, we have our neighbor here. Uh, friendly introduction. My dad is mowing outside. <gasps> Oh my goodness, my dad is mowing outside. I'm so sorry if you can hear my dad mowing outside. I thought he had stopped and I told him I'm recording, but he doesn't. I don't know why he started mowing. But if you hear mowing in the background, I am super duper sorry. Let's go and say hello to Sally. Um, friendly. What is her last name? Flute. It's such a cute last name. Hi. Hi there, Sally. Oh, I love your hair color. Are we going to sit down and talk? Are we going to sit down and talk? Um, so I just got so distracted because a neighbor came and then dad started mowing outside. But what I was saying about hashtag K Smitten is if you guys would like to send me in some more Sims to um, be in my new Willow Creek, I would really appreciate that. So I will be checking that daily, that hashtag. Um, you can also just do hashtag Kaleido, but K Smitten would be best. And yeah, really excited to see what you guys create. And hopefully um, with your help, we'll be able to fill up this town ASAP. And who is you? Who are you and you're wearing Jean's hairstyle? I'm sorry, but it looks better on Jean. Just saying. Just saying. Let's go and talk to Sally. Oh, wait. Look at that. That treat. Oh, do you know what? I'm really excited for this month because it's October and we should really decorate this place Halloween style um, in the next week or so. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like normal. It's so cute. It's inspired by the up house. Um, if you guys got that little bit of an Easter egg, her grandma's name is Ellie and Ellie is the girl, is the um, old man's, I can't remember his name, the old man's wife who dies. So it's just like a little, um, it's like a little Easter egg. Possibly they're in an alternate universe, like a parallel universe to the up one. Oh, these two. I hope they become friends. Let's do um, share ideas because Jim's really friendly. She's like super, super duper friendly. I don't want all of the characters in this series to be all friendly. We got to mix it up a little bit. Maybe I'll make one of her neighbors to be like cranky and snobby. That would be funny. Um, oh, she's got a charisma skill. Awesome. Oh, Sally is adorable. Oh, man. You guys are so cute. I kind of want to take a picture. 
They're to oh, her face does not look good. She's like, I don't like bananas. <gasps> Who slipped on that banana? Oh, man. So she is clumsy, Jean. Um, she kind of just... In, in my mind, her story is that she's always been really, really lucky. She's very clumsy. She kind of just stumbles through life. Things just... Good things just keep coming her way. Um, but she's clumsy. It's it's a weird thing. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't know. I love giving I love giving characters funny traits like that. So Chain has learned the following traits about Sally. She is squeamish. Oh no, she is squeamish. Does that mean she doesn't like creepy crawlies? I don't think so. Well, let's make something for let's make something for Sally. Um, let's bake. Oh, what can we can bake some brownies? <gasps> that would be so good. You just relax here on the porch swing, Sally, and we are going to cook you up something so nice. Yeah, something really yummy. You better like it. You better like it because oh, look at our Jean. She's just making those brownies. Yeah, you can make them. They'll be yummy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Her eyes are going crazy. Where did Jean go? I mean, where did Sally go? It may take me a while. Oh, she's up here playing the computer. It may take me a while to get used to people's names, but hopefully um, I'll be able, we'll be playing this Let's Play long enough for me not to get them all confused. And I know it's a little bit of a scary fact that I won't be playing one static household for the entire series. But trust me, guys, I'm not going to be changing household every single episode. It's probably more likely to be like every 25 episodes or something like that. Oh, we met the brownies. <gasps> they look delicious, Jean. Okay, well, are we able to um, put in inventory? I don't want to put all of it in my inventory. What? I only wanted one piece in my inventory. Okay, grab serving. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe call to meal. We could do that too. Call to meal, and then we can have brownies with our new friend Sally. How cute. Stop eating, Jean. And you're not even going to call your friend over? Your new friend? Oh no, now I've eaten two. Oh dear. Okay, let's put this one in the fridge, actually. Put that in the fridge, and hopefully Sally comes down. Yay, we're all coming down to have some brownies. Fresh brownies are the best. Oh my goodness, I love fresh brownies. They are my favorite. Oopsie. I need to go down. Oh my goodness. What is happening? What is... Oh my goodness. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I was in the ceiling. I was like, um, where am I? Hi, guys. Oh, yay. Do you like them? She's just like, um, do you like them? Yeah? Do you like them, Sally? I think she does. I think she does. So, oh man, let's just have a little bit of a talk. Ask about day. I think that'd be nice. Oh, she's thinking about cupcakes and sweets. I was thinking of having one of her neighbors um, run a ice cream store. So we have to have someone super duper adorable who sells ice cream. I can't wait. I can't wait. Um. um um, what else can we do? We could talk to her and do Brighton Day because Jean wants to spread the happiness. She wants to make an impression on this town. She wants to be super friendly and just spread the good vibes. Um, tell engaging story. Tell engaging story. So to get a store, to get a store for her, um, I think we're going to start off with a tiny little florist nursery sort of store for her. It probably won't even be um, in the main CBD area of um, Willow Creek. That You know that area that's near the water? It's near the water on the bottom of the map. Well, we probably won't make her store be there. We'll make it like in a... Oh, I, can't, I can't remember... 
some of the really small lots, but it might be a bit cheaper than the ones in the CBD area. And also, I would rather that, you know, it's meant to be a florist. It's meant to be in a green area. So, yeah. Oh, look at her whims. Hug someone. Buy a dishwasher. <laughs> Kiss someone. Well, let's give a hug. Oh, she's leaving. Oh, bye. I should really get going now. Oh, see ya. Well, we just had afternoon tea. Had some afternoon tea. Yeah, you better do the dishes. Good girl. Good girl. And uh, what else can we do? It is getting late. It is 6.30. Well, while we have all of this money, how about let's think about buying a lot? Because I was going to say before that we should get a part-time job, but maybe we have a part-time job and we have the store at the same time, but uh, I don't think they have part-time jobs in The Sims, so maybe we won't do that. Let's just see if we can um, buy a retail store. Okay, let's see if we could do this. And um, yeah, we could, we'll just buy a really, really tiny little lot. I'm not sure where. Can you stop watching the TV? Stop watching the TV and let's buy a lot. I'm excited. Oh man, I've never made a florist. I'm excited. Um, go in Willow Creek and somewhere that's lush. Oh, this is a tiny little place here. Oh, how much would it cost? Look how tiny it is. 2015, that is perfect. Oh no, this one's 2015 too. I think this is a nicer area. I might even plan to move the goss something somewhere else. Um, they're okay there. I don't mind them being there. I really like their family. I just wanted this neighborhood to be all my sims. So let's purchase this one. Let's see what it looks like. Hopefully we have enough money. There's nothing on the lot. So it should be okay. Oh man. Oh man, I'm excited. Ooh, yay! Okay, so we did buy it. <gasps> Wait, it didn't cost that much at all. You are kidding me. It didn't cost that much at all. So I'm going to do the building for this. Um, should we do it now? This is a really lush looking pretty area. I think this is perfect. Even with the goth family right there. I will be brightening their day every morning when they step out to go to work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a little bit of a um, skeleton for the house and then we will be back. Alrighty guys, so I have worked on a little tiny bit of a um, skeleton. Kind of did this really rushed. Um, <laughs> it's nowhere near done. I kind of just grabbed all of the florist actual items and plunked them down there just so then I remember to use them. Um, this is just a very, very bare skeleton at the moment. I'll just show you guys. It has grass on the top. I would like it if people could go up onto the rooftop. Oh my goodness, I've left like weird things around the corner. Oh no! Um, if people could, like customers could go up on the rooftop and that's where a lot of the alive plants that are for sale would be. Um, because we don't have that much room on the back, I think a um, rooftop garden um, where the nursery would be, that would be really, really nice. So um, I know I was going to ask you guys what job I should get her, but you know, I've been thinking about making her a florist this whole entire time, and I think it would suit Jean. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, we are going to head back home. I'm super excited for this. So she's going to be selling both normal plants, like a nursery, and she's also going to sell assorted flowers and just like pot plants and stuff. So let's go back to our other home. I think that would be best. Um, there isn't much more here. I will work on that off camera. Um, but yeah, it probably will change a lot. I changed my mind a lot about builds. Alrighty, so we are back and Oh, why are you sad? Do we have any mail? Nope. Um, one other thing, because she is a florist, we need to get her gardening skill up. So let's purchase some seeds. Um, starter flowers. Let's get three. 
And um, I haven't really done much with the gardening skill or anything. I did a little bit in All My Goddess. So let's open these. Oh, we get a lot for each packet. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so what do we have here? We have some bluebells. Oh, and we also have some chrysanthemums. Chrysanthemum. Oh, wait, is there only one of these? I thought there was more. Oh, that kind of sucks. Okay, let's put another one of them there. Let's see what beautiful flowers we can make. So I also would really love to um, grow some of our own produce so she can mainly eat a vegan diet. That would be really like a fully sustainable diet. That would be awesome. So I'm going to get her to start coming over here and planting them. Please and thank you. Um, oh, I want to put the daisy here. I think it's a daisy. Yeah, it's a normal daisy, so... Okay, we're going to get her to do that really quick. Oh, she's got one gardening skill already. Cool! And after we do all of that, we will water all of them. And um, we do have a little bit of a zen meditation thing over there. So if she wants to do that, she can. And she is like one with the world sort of person. She just wants to spread around the happiness, the good vibes. Oh, I really want to take a picture of her watering the plants. I love, I love taking photos like these. They're just so cute. So, oh, she's having some nighttime gardening. Oh, how lovely. So we'll just speed that up a little bit while she does all of that. So um, I'm going to end the episode pretty soon, guys. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys about the hashtag K, uh, what do we do? K smitten. So hashtag K smitten. If you guys would like to send me some sims that um, I could put into my smitten new Willow Creek world. I'm really excited for this series. I hope you guys are too. It's a little bit different to normal series, I know, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And holy, oh my god, look how fast all these plants grew. Girl, you must have a green thumb or something. You must have a green thumb. But yeah, do expect some really funny and quirky, whimsical stories in this series, guys. It's not going to be boring. Um, it's not going to be drama-filled or anything like that. I think I'm a little bit over that, and that's why, oh my god, this is on a bit of a hiatus, because I don't really like drama. I want to just have fun making quirky little characters and giving them adorable little houses and adorable little stores. That That's the, my goal. That is my goal for this series. Well, guys, I'm going to let you all go now. I hope you all have an amazing day or night, and I will see you all next time. Good night. Jean is, Jean is very tired. Good night or goodbye. Bye.